So um, what I've noticed myself happening this year is I've noticed myself becoming like way more easygoing and flexible. Like just really chill out and relaxed, basically speaking. Like things don't really bother me much or at all anymore. And I'm just finding myself with having the most peace and easily peace of mind and inner peace ever, as like more than ever ever in my life, easily by a long way. And there's another word for this in the spiritual community, and it's called non-attachment. And it's kind of like what very famous teacher Anthony de Mello talks about extensively. And he's a brilliant wisdom teacher. He was an excellent person, an excellent mind, great guy, you know, very unconditioned. And then, of course, um, Krishnamurti, on his deathbed, when he was asked, "What's the secret of your, what's your secret?" He said, "I don't mind what happens. <laughs> I don't mind what happens." So it's the same thing, basically. It's like living from a space of ca calmness to a degree, relaxation inner peace, chilled out, being chilled out and relaxed, calm, inner peace. You don't really mind what happens necessarily. You're very, very open and flexible to anything. And that includes change and loss. Because loss and change are basically the two constants in life. The only constant is change. And another word for change basically is also loss. Because when we lose the present, when we lose this moment onto the next moment, it's like this, the past moment is gone, it's lost, it's the past, it's gone, it's gone away. We've lost it, and that's the constant movement of life. And part of the constant movement is people and things and places where we are. Like, even now, I'm in a different place, like, of, it's gone. And same with where we live or where we're traveling in or who are with in a relationship, or a partnership, or a business ship, or a collaboration, or a family member. And then of course people die. Our health changes. Of course nobody really dies, but yet the physical person does pass on and move away. But spirit always lives on. We're always going to be alive. Um, but it's different obviously when they're not in the physical body anymore with us in the physical world. So in my life, I, I've, like, I'm just really relaxed. Like if people make plans with me and change their mind sometimes, or I want to rearrange the plan for another time or day, I'm like, no, okay, no problem, you know. Obviously, if someone's gonna do it like every single day, it's like I can't trust them then, obviously. But no one doing that to me. It's just it just happens. It's part of life. Sometimes people are tired, sick, or stressed, and they need to change the plan. And that's okay with me. And I'm not, like... So another way of describing the way I am these days is I, I don't put all of my eggs into one basket. I don't rely on another person for my happiness. So these are like the teachings of Abraham. Also, lovely birds and a lovely beep. <laughs> I'm just chill and relaxed and just sort of enjoying my life much more these days. I'm just much more like humorous and funny and flexible. There's the sea over there. This is Greystones, County Wicklow, Ireland. So I'm just like more dependent on myself. I'm just getting on with my own life. And I'm happy to, and I'm praying for and I'm wishing the best for other people. Everybody in my past and present, including ex partners including anyone who's been an opportunistic challenge in my life. Who I have in the past had stress with. Now I just think the best of people, everybody, and I just talk about the best of everybody also, basically. Like 99% of my thoughts and time and words and feelings are good towards everyone, which is a kick-ass way to be. And I've never actually said it in my life, ever. I've never said that in another video. I've never said that or taught that to anyone. Such a nice thing to say. I feel so happy saying that. It feels so good and so right. 
that's in alignment with your higher being, everyone. That's in alignment with your spirit, your inner being. That's the way God source universal intelligence. Life, the universe thinks lovingly, understandingly, compassionately, reverently, beautifully, honorably, nobly, caring fully, deeply caring fully. Remembering and seeing the best. And if you want to imagine when you are connected with your inner light, that's when you have a baby, maybe a baby or a child, or you know, that's when your deepest loving, nurturing inner alignment comes out. But we don't need to only have these pinnacle, rare moments in life that's limited to our little baby or child. To unconditional love, we can have, we can, we can be this because this is who we are. And when we connect with this and align with who we are, then we, it is us. It's who we are. It's not something we have to get. We have to get rid of the blocks. We have to allow and undo, allow the blocks to go away by recognizing them and healing and seeing them and allowing them to go. A change of habit, a change of pattern. And then we have this unconditional love and great feelings towards everybody. And then we have this unfathomable inner peace, this calmness, this like relaxation. And then we have a trust also in source or the universe. And we know everything happens for a reason and we're never alone and we are loved. We love love, we are love and we love to love. And then, then, of course, we just love everything and everybody. It's kind of crazy. Everyone, i got to go now. But uh, it's been a pleasure to share with you. And thanks for watching. Lots of love to you. And hugs and kisses. <sighs> hugs, love and kisses. And befriend me on Facebook and Instagram. Check out my website for one-to-one -one consultations or group or family or relationship consultations of holistic healing and body, mind, spirit. And also for my Higher Self Herbs web store where you get a discount for first time subscribers and it's my store, so lots of love everyone. Thanks for doing that and uh, I'll see you again another time. Bye.